Here are five things you should know about Mahmoud Diko, the man behind the protests in Mali. Mahmoud Diko was born into a family of Muslim scholars in Timbuktu in 1954. He studied in Mauritania and at the University of Medina in Saudi Arabia. But Diko is an advocate for West African Islam and has defended Mali's pre-Islamic culture of pluralism and mysticism while opposing harsh physical punishment and violent war. Mahmoud came to prominence in 2009 after leading a campaign that forced Mali's government to water down a family law reform to bolster women's rights. After the Tuareg Rebellion of 2012, he came to be a mediator between extremist groups and the government. He even backed Ibrahim Keita's bid for presidency in 2013 and welcomed France's military incursions against terrorist groups. He has since turned against Keita for his inability to resolve the nation's problems and accused the French of trying to recolonize the country. He sparked controversy when he claimed the 2015 terrorist attack on the Radisson Blue Hotel in Bamako was God's punishment for the encroaching Western influence in the country. He was head of the High Islamic Council of Mali for a decade before founding a new movement, and earlier this year he emerged as the leader of the June 5 movement, leading widespread demonstrations against President Keita before his ousting.